God's word to people is, it, it is always about action. When you wake up, when you're awake, you do things. I don't know what your, your routine is in the morning. I'm not going to tell you mine, okay? You, uh, it, uh, you, we all have different routines in the morning, right? Things that you do without thinking much about it, but I promise you that when your feet hit the floor off of the bed, you start going into some kind of action. You may not be thinking very much about what it is at that moment. You may still be a little bit in a brain fog, but you're, you're doing something. And the same is true when God speaks to us. The end result of God's Word is not just theology. The end result of God's Word is not just information. The end result of God's Word is not just having a lot more spiritual knowledge. The end result of God's Word is always Action. God is interested in you being a doer of the word, not just a hearer of the word. Notice in Deuteronomy what it says in chapter 2. When God spoke, this is when he's encouraging them to break out of Mount Sinai. What does he say? He says, he says do what? Break camp and advance. What do you do to break camp? All you campers out there, what's involved in breaking camp? Action, right? You don't just step out and say, tent, jump out back in the package again. No. You have to break, to pull the tent pegs up. You've got to fold it all up. You've got to clean everything away. You've got to clean your campsite. The same was true for Israel, that God had something for them, and he gave them this wake-up call. He says, I've got a future for you. I've got a promised land for you. Now, break camp and advance. So get the tents up, pull the pegs up, begin some motion, and start moving in a direction of your future to what I have called you to. One of the key words here is very important is that break camp in advance. And then in the second chapter, he says, now turn what? North. Key word right there is turn, turn. If I'm facing the direction I should be facing, you don't need to say to me, turn. The only time you would ever need to say to me, turn, is when I'm, I'm looking the wrong way. You would say, turn around because I'm not facing you. So God said turn because they were facing the wrong direction. That's the only logical reason why he would say turn. 